Hello YouTube, it is Jacob Torres from wikijackson.com along with Jack Jackson from wikijackson.com. Hey guys. And today we have a bit of an update video for you guys from our previous video showing you how to change the carrier logo on your iPhone or iPad running 3G or LTE. Now if you don't already know what we're talking about or have not seen our video that uh, there will be a picture showing exactly what it is right now on the screen. There will also be an annotation linking to our previous video. So let's go ahead and get started guys. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to be changing the carrier logo on your iPhone or iPad 3G or LTE on a Windows based computer. Now in our previous video we did this on Mac and so this is why this is an update video. We're just going to be showing you a more simplified version on Windows. So let's go ahead and get started by opening up uh, your preferred web browser. Ours is Google Chrome. Okay so when your browser loads up you're going to go to wikijackson.com forward slash downloads dot php and when that page loads up there's going to be four sections and you're going to click the show button on tutorials okay so when you open up tutorials there's going to be two files there uh, a mac carrier editor package and a windows custom carrier logo so you're going to go to the windows version and download that now in Chrome there's going to be a little pop up right here and it's going to download and then it's going to if if this happens to you it's going to say it not commonly downloaded and could be dangerous uh... don't worry it's not dangerous at all it's just that we haven't have many downloads on our site at all so it's it's totally fine you can go ahead and keep it and then um, head over here to downloads just so you know the more downloads and views that we get on our website the less likely that something like that is going to happen so go ahead and share this with your friends uh... yeah okay and uh... now once you're in your downloads you're gonna there's gonna be a file there called custom carrier logo package and it's gonna be in pc in parentheses you're gonna click it and click extract also note that if it says mac instead of pc then uh... you download the mac version and you're gonna need to go ahead and download the pc version instead okay so once you get into the extract area there's gonna be an extract all button go ahead and click that and then you're gonna browse and click the area that you prefer the most. We prefer the download section because that is easiest for us. You're going to click extract down there and you're going to wait for it to extract. Now this is going to take a while so we're going to be back when it's done. Okay guys, it's almost done. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of Chrome. You can do that as well. And when it's 100% complete, you're going to head over to your custom carrier logo package PC that's already been extracted. Now don't mind this. This is just, I can see hidden files on this computer so it's just gonna show up it's not gonna show up for you so then you're gonna head over to this extracted f so you're gonna go ahead and open up the application and this is where we head over to the iPhone okay so over at the iPhone uh, I'm just gonna point this out real quick uh, right up there where it says Verizon uh, that is the text that we're going to be changing today so just in case you were still unclear about that that is what we will be changing and also we're going to come um, into the uh, about section in settings under general and right down here where it says carrier Verizon 13.3 uh, we're going to want to get that number 13.3 so you can go ahead and write that down or something or just uh, refer to it when we're back at the application okay when we're at the application you're gonna go ahead and click let's get started now this might pop up iTunes if it does just go ahead and click X and then you're gonna go under this area that says current carrier version right and here is where we're going to enter that 13.3 you're gonna go ahead and enter that and then you're gonna go down to the device settings we have an iPhone so we're gonna go ahead and click iPhone the other choice was an iPad see right there and uh, choose iPhone for us and then you're gonna go to carrier and scroll down we have Verizon so we're gonna scroll all the way down to Verizon LTE also notice that has a browse section that is if you're unclear what your carrier is you can just browse and that's where these two folders come in handy right here you can uh, when you click browse you're gonna locate these and that's where you find your browser Verizon LTE here or whatever carrier you have but uh, we're gonna go ahead and go down to these two sections right here okay so the next two sections in the application uh, they're labeled logo from file and logo from text we're gonna focus on logo from file for the first part so basically uh, there are two browse buttons one for the black logo and one for the etched logo and now if you uh, refer back to the folder that you extracted you notice that there's a folder called Zeppelin logos now if you go ahead and open that you notice that there are many pre-made ones that came uh, from the previous Zeppelin applications which is how you could do this um, when you were jailbroken uh, back in the day but uh, with this new version they went ahead and gave us these logos uh, the pre-made ones 
and also in the package that we provide you from wikijackson.com we added our own custom wiki jackson logos which we made last in last week's tutorial so you're gonna go ahead and click the browse button under black and white logos you're gonna click wherever you lo uh, you extracted your folder and you're gonna go into there and then go into your zeppelin logos now this you could choose whatever ones you want we're gonna go ahead and click wiki jackson carrier logos and we're gonna click the black at 2x folder you're gonna click open and that should pop up a little symbol right here if it doesn't that's alright it, it already did it and then you're gonna go to etch logo and then click browse and then go to the etch at 2x and open that as well okay so basically uh, if you are going to choose your own custom uh, logo from either the pre-made ones or you make your own like we did using our last week's tutorial once you do that you can just go ahead and cr click create IPCC carry carrier bundle it's just the button in the center at the bottom of the screen and this little pop-up box should say that uh, you click OK and you notice on your desktop there will be two new files now you can go ahead and open up iTunes and this is the part where we're going to put it on our iPhone okay guys so when you get into iTunes you're gonna go ahead and click the tab that locates your iPhone and then it's gonna pop up this little area right here this is the only area we're gonna focus at then you're gonna notice the restore iPhone dot 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 this is where you hold the shift key and you push down on your mouse left click on your, on your mouse and you're gonna go ahead and go to your desktop now at your desktop you're gonna notice that there's no folders that we created or no files that we created you have to go to this section right here and click uh, .ipcc IPCC. and you're gonna go ahead and click the one that does not have original in its name you're gonna click that and click open now that should pop up this menu right there and go away now let's head over to the I uh, the iPhone and see what happened. Um, so we'll probably have this video going for you. You may have seen it update automatically. As you can see, the Verizon is not there anymore. It just has the Wiki Jackson logo, which is pretty cool. Now we're also going to show you how to restore back and then also show you the uh, logo from text option. So going back into iTunes, if we go ahead and click Shift Restore iPhone, then uh, also go ahead and choose the .ipcc files again. You're going to want to click the original one this time. This is to restore back to the original text, hence the name original. So you click open and it should do that. And you notice that it doesn't uh, change back automatically this time. We're actually going to have to power off the phone and restart it up for these changes to take place. So we'll cut the video and come back when that is done. Okay, so we're starting up the iPhone again. As you can see, the Apple logo uh, splash screen. And uh, I'm not too sure when it's going to start up. It's pretty unpredictable. But, um,. Right there, you can see that it started up, and there is a searching icon. Now, this is just my iPhone. For some reason, after I power it back up, it takes a really long time to find service. So, I'll probably cut the video and come back when it does say Verizon, when everything is loaded up. Okay, so you can see back here, the logo has indeed changed back to Verizon. And just because there were some jump cuts there, don't think that we, like, tricked you. We were recording this entire time, and the logo did change back. So uh, it's as simple as that, and we're now going to cut again so we can show you guys how to uh, set a custom logo from a text. Okay guys, so if you're wondering what the logo from text area is, uh, we have no idea really what it does because whenever we try using it, it doesn't work. So uh, we only could use the logo from file section. Sorry about that guys, uh, we wished it, hope it worked too because uh, you know it looks like a pretty cool feature, but uh, from now on we can only use the logo from file section. So uh, if you like this video, go ahead and rate it up. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and comment down below. Uh, vi visit wikijackson.com for more information. And uh, subscribe to our channel. Thanks, guys.